Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and the big news today, although, I don't know, is, is this actually big news that the president, when it comes to Obamacare, knew absolutely nothing? Hmm. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, the uh, Obama administration sent out their talking heads this morning, and they blamed all of the Obama problems on the Republican Party. At no time did the president tell people that they could keep their health care programs. They said uh, what he was telling people, they could keep the health care program if they could have at that moment, which the Republicans never bothered to inform people was the truth, and that they, uh, they're they now, uh, Republicans and their allies over at NBC, CBS, CNN, the New York Times, the Los Angeles Times, have neglected to tell people the full truth about anything. So. The Republican Party is now finished as a party in this nation. Oh. And it's um, and across the world, universal health care is in poor health. Because they can't pay for it. You know, okay, there are more people not using, okay, there's more people using what they're calling boutique doctors now. I have a relative in England that get paid nothing for being a doctor, but because she's a boutique person, they bring her in food to eat, they bring her in meat to eat, they bring her in, you know, they do jobs on the property. That's what happens because you're really not supposed to get paid if you're a doctor. But um, they let you practice medicine in those countries because, the, like here, the majority of the doctors are not going to opt in on Obamacare. They're going to opt out of it, which means he does not have enough doctors to make the system work either. So that's how it works. And Yahoo closing the Cairo office. Yeah, because it's no longer safe to do news in, in, in Egypt because of Barack Obama. And U.S. spy chief says allies spy on America's later intelligence. Or I know, but I, as I keep trying to explain to people, it is not, I mean, I heard a guy last night that we used to work for the CIA. He said the problem is they don't get caught. We are so inept that we got caught. He said, you know what happens? To an inept person that gets caught, they generally get locked up in somebody's country jail cells for the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. Here, they just, they, I mean, here, if you ask somebody inept, they just elect you to the President of the United States. <laughs> and iPhone 6 with 5 inch 1080p HD display reportedly launching next year. It's called a small, I mean, my note is a fairly good sized thing, but they're shipping something that's basically nothing more than the mini iPad is what it is. Five inches. Yeah. It's like it's like that size, folks, this big. It's mm -hmm. a huge monster. I mean, imagine I mean when we were at years ago, we were told at a at a conference by Questex, a gentleman said he said, When you get the cell phones this size, then you're gonna be able to make the you're gonna be able to make downloading work and they're moving that direction. They're moving towards that. Yeah. I know I love my note. <laughs> and Facebook, repo oh, um, Facebook reportedly puts off adding video ads until next year. They can't figure out how to make any of this stuff work. I mean, I well, video ads also take more bandwidth. They take more a lot bandwidth. more. And uh, the problem is, is that the company. I mean, no one understands how this works. Is that they uh, that no one is actually looking at any of the ads on on Facebook, and yet they continue to sell ads. One of the people from the advertising agency said that this can't continue because you're spending money. They said, first of all, click to view does not work anymore. They've known it for years it hasn't worked. That's why the, why um, YouTube has went to pre-roll and, and tells because they're not looking, they're not clicking anything on their sites. And Obama is under fire as Americans lose prior health plans. Well, no, that wasn't his fault. That was, you're being misled all the way. The, the, the whole mantra today is, first of all, you're going to like what you've got so much better than what you had because it's more inclusive and cheaper. Well, let's see, they haven't found one single person to come on camera and say they're got a better health care program that's got what it wants in it for less money. You have to take the what the President of the United States has deemed important and you have to pay the cost. So uh, that's how that's working, folks. And bumper sticker mocks Obamacare website's problems. Oh, uh, they um, they basically like Sibelius. Oh, did you realize that your website has been down since you started testimony? Mm -hmm. And then when she goes off, you realize your website said website specifically says this: 
it will be back on between two day between two minutes and two days. And he said, well, you uh, are you still guaranteeing that that sign will not come up after the 31st? Well, no, because there will be glitches. We're saying that it will be functioning. And they said, that's not what you've been telling people, mm -hmm. and you're parsing the words again. And they, they keep, okay, she basically said yesterday, up yours, when they want to know how many people are on it. The problem, they know what's going on because, you know, crappy thing. Google monitors everything. If it's a website, they know what's going on it. They can tell you exactly where, here's, Google can tell you who's signing up, and yet the government can't because the government doesn't want people to understand that 90% of the people that have been able to sign up are going to the Medicaid program, which doesn't cost them anything. They have no money to pay for their program. And Netflix mall streaming movies the same day they hit theaters. That means the movie industry, that's only, you know, that's basically for the United States. Oh, because the USA is no longer, uh, I mean, like, we're trying to decide whether to go spend the money next week to go see uh, Thor in Las Vegas, but we may and we may not. And Illinois horse racing industry nearly finished. Because people aren't, they don't have the money. If you don't have the money, you don't go, you don't have no disposable income. And all of the things that take disposable income are dying at the moment. And Kurt's phone falls flat, literally. Uh, yeah, the phone basically, it's like that, which makes it supposedly easier to, you know, like they always were curves, so you could put them up to your ear and speak. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of the people do not use uh, wireless devices. So, but the problem comes is that it didn't dawn on them. Uh, you can't carry the thing. Mm. It has to be, it's, it's good for a woman's handbag, but what's a guy do with a curved phone? You don't. And Al Gore on climate change? We can't avoid the elephant in the room. Well, there are climate change that he's talking about does not and will not exist. If anything, we're heading into another little ice age, not what, there is no global warming, not like they said, there is global cooling. Our, our winter storms are getting worse, not better. And private space plane suffers landing gear glitch and drop test. This is the big problem. I, I fly, and what you don't want, I, I've flown high enough that I have an astronaut's pin somewhere. The, what you don't want to do is to have your landing gear go on something coming out of the sky at about 2,000 miles an hour. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't land horrible. very well. They're mm. not made to skid. Mm. And Detroit emergency manager says cram down a possibility. Yeah, if they uh, if they if they don't allow bankruptcy, they're simply going to uh, cut back services and cram higher fees on everyone. Oh, that's what a cram down is. Which means you're going to lose more businesses and more people in the city. And he said, well, that's uh, he said the Demo he said that he's a Democrat. If that's what they want, he's going to give it to them, and he predicts 50 percent population drop from what they have, and, and probably 60 to 70. He said, you think the movie people are going to come here to work in their brand new multi-million dollar facilities if you're going to charge uh, charge them huge taxes for working in our state? It's not mm -hmm. going to happen. Yeah. Microsoft, Apple's iWork suite isn't worth giving away. Yeah, because no one likes it, folks. I mean, that what they had worked well, and they're basically trying to compete with um, the, you know, the suites that, that Microsoft has, and they've never been able to do it well. So they're not, Apple is hardware, Microsoft is software. And when, here's how it works is, Gates and, Al, Gates and um, Allen were once partners. They basically, when they designed this stuff, uh, and you know, uh, the people over at Apple, Joe, all these people were in the same garage, and they designed, one person designed the software, the other person designed the hardware, and then they split. And Jobs was hardware with Wall and Zach, and Gates and Allen were software. Mm -hmm. And a Monty bubble is a thing of our twin of the animal kingdom. When those that support you no longer believe anything you have to say, you're in big trouble.